Hey everybody, it's Kerry here from Shirt School. Today I wanna to dive right into helping you diagnose and fix a broken Shopify store. So if you're actively trying to promote your Shopify store and your advertising or you're just trying to get traffic to your store and it's not working, you can't figure it out or you can't make it profitable, I wanna show you how to fix it today. So let's dive into my iPad. This is called a funnel checkup. Every Shopify business is really operating with this kind of sales funnel. Number one, you have traffic. Your people that are coming to your website are coming from somewhere. This could be a Facebook ad, an Instagram post, a Facebook post, anywhere on the internet, they're seeing something from your business and they're clicking over to your website. Now, if you're doing it right, you should be sending people over to a product page. Okay, what, what I'm talking about when I say product page, this is where people can actually, on your Shopify store, they can actually see the product and click the add to cart button. Not the front of your store, not anything like that. In most cases, when you're advertising or when you're even doing organic, you should be sending people to the product page. Once somebody clicks in the add to cart button, it takes them to your checkout, okay? And so the third phase is your checkout. That's where they can actually enter their payment information, they get shipping, all that kind of stuff. These are the three phases of an e-commerce sales process or sales funnel, okay? So if we just simplify things for a minute, if you are actively trying to promote your, your product, your business, whatever, and you're not getting the sales of the results that you want, only one of these three, three things can be broken, right? These are the only three things that can be broken because this is, this is all you got, right? You're running traffic, you got a traffic source coming from somewhere, you're sending that to a product page and then that product page after they click the add to cart button is going to the checkout, okay? And each one of these phases has one goal. The goal of, a, of your traffic source, so like an ad or a post, is to get a click. Okay, you want people to click over to your product page. The goal of the product page is add to cart. That's all you want them to do on the product page is click the add to cart button. And the goal of the checkout is to get them to complete their purchase. So again, if, if you're not getting the sales that you want, one of these things are broken, one of these things are not working. So let me give you a few metrics or a few things to look for on each of these steps that you can just Go back to your business right now and analyze each one and how you can figure out where the breakdown is in your sales process. Let's talk about this first step. What I find with tons of people, and as you probably know if you're watching this, I have a coaching program, I have an online course, I, I talking to people every single day about their businesses, doing these diagnostics with them. One thing that I see a lot is people say, oh, I'm just not getting the sales, I'm not getting the sales. And the, the first question I ask is, well, how many people have clicked to your website in the last 30 days, right? What's that number? And so the first question I want you to ask uh, when it comes to your traffic and analyzing is your traffic working is how many clicks? Because uh, the average Shopify store gets about 2% conversion, okay? 2% conversion, which means that two out of every 100 people should be buying, right? So the first question I want you to ask is how many clicks? Because if you don't have at least 50 clicks in a 30 day period, and that's a really low number, but if you don't have at least 50 clicks, there's no way that you can really say my traffic is working or isn't working. My ad is good or bad, right? You need quite a few clicks to get enough people coming to your website to say that something is broken or not. So that's the first thing you need to ask is how many clicks? As far, how many clicks is your, your, your advertising or your, your, your post getting or whatever, whatever activity you're doing to get, uh, to get clicks to your website? How many clicks are you getting? I would recommend getting to at least 100 to 200 clicks uh, before you really say this is good or bad, okay? If you're running like Facebook or Instagram ads, I would try to get your cost per click uh, sub $1. So we'll do under $1 per click. Okay, so you want to see clicks coming in at less than a dollar per, per click. Generally, that's gonna give you a profitable campaign uh, if everything else is working correctly, right? So that's the first way, look at your traffic and see how many clicks and how much are you paying for those clicks to know if your ad is broken or your, your advertising or whatever, you know, whatever promotion you're doing is broken or not. 
If you're enjoying this video, would you help me out? Back out of this video, hit that like button, and then you can continue watching the rest of this video. Also consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon. That makes sure you get notified when we put out new videos. Back to the content. Next, if you are getting clicks on your ads, because a lot of times people say, I'm running ads, I'm doing the things, and I'm getting traffic, right? You can just pull up your Shopify dashboard, you can just look, this is how many visitors I've had in the last month. If you are getting visitors to your website, but you are not getting sales, then there's a good chance that the next thing you need to look at is your product page. Something might be broken on your product page, okay? Now, how do you diagnose a bad product page? Well, I like to look at it in four Ps. The first P is price. Is your price good, right? Is your stuff priced too high? or even is it priced too low? Sometimes it's priced too low, right? And people think, ah, oh, this looks like a scam, it's priced too low. Uh, is your pricing right? So that's the first thing to look at, that's generally the easiest thing to fix. Second thing is product description. This is a big one. A lot of people use generic product descriptions that don't sell the product, they don't communicate the benefits, right? A lot of people are communicating the features. Let's take a t-shirt, you might say like, it's 100% cotton and it's got a ribbed collar, blah, blah, blah. People don't care about that. They just care that the t-shirt's gonna fit nice, it's gonna be soft, and the print is gonna be good, and it's gonna get to them fast, right? Those are the benefits to buying with your business that you know they care about those things. So the product description is the second thing. Make sure that you've written a compelling product description. Third thing is photos. Do you have good product photos on your product page? Are you using crummy photos that don't really show your product in a good light? Maybe you need to get some more compelling photos on your product page. And the last P is proof. When we say proof, we're talking about social proof and reviews. So many stores, I would say nine out of 10 stores I look at, they just don't have any reviews, right? And reviews are so important. Over 90% of customers consider the product reviews before they make a purchase. So if you do not have reviews on your website, you have to figure out a way to get reviews because you will never get the sales that you want if you do not have reviews. So when you are looking to improve your product page, you're getting a lot of clicks to your website, but you're not getting the add to carts, look at these four things, price, product description, photos, and proof. Upgrade all those and then you need to run some more traffic to see if all of this improves. Now remember the goal of the product page is to get add to carts. So if you are getting a lot of add to carts but you're not getting sales, then most likely your checkout is broken and that's the third piece to look at. Now there's really not much that can go wrong with your checkout. There are really only two things that I found in probably 95% of cases that can fix a checkout. Number one is it's just broken. Your checkout might be broken. Now what happens with a lot of, of, of online sellers, Shopify sellers, is you don't check like how you set up shipping and all that kind of stuff and it might just actually be broken or you've added so many widgets and pop-ups and different things that your checkout experience is just really, really bad for your customer. So you need to go in and make sure your checkout is not broken. Number two, and this is the most common, is shipping costs. Shipping is too high, too expensive, and you just need to try free shipping. Okay, this is like, if you look up why do people abandon their car, it's like 90, it's like all of them is because of shipping costs, right? They get to check out, they see the shipping costs, and then they back out. So it's not bad to charge for shipping, and I, in fact, I charge for shipping in um, most of my businesses, but if you're getting clicks, right? You're getting add to carts, but people are not finishing their purchase. There is a good chance your shipping cost needs to be tweaked or it needs to be simplified or your checkout is broken. So that's the three step process to fix your broken Shopify store. You just need to diagnose your traffic, diagnose your product page and diagnose your checkout and that will likely improve your results. Out of these three things, the most common thing that is broken almost every time is the product page. And if you want more help getting your product page upgraded and optimized and get more people clicking the add to cart button, we have a program called Add to Cart Blueprint. That's only $37. It's a really in-depth program that goes laser focused on fixing your product page. We use our P4 formula that we showed you in this video. Again, it's only 37 bucks. So we'll leave a link down in the description or you can go over to carryegler.com slash ATC, add to cart, right? And pick up that program. See you soon.
Thank you.